Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're a girl or even a guy, you've probably thought about getting some kind of hair removal system, whether it's a razor or just some wax, but in today's society it's pretty common to get rid of any unnecessary hair that's on your body. And because as humans we do have a lot of hair, um, we've probably thought about what's the most convenient way to get them removed. So for me personally, I've wanted to try laser or EPL for a very long time. In fact, this is the second um, laser hair removal system that I've tried, which is not even laser, but it's EPL. It's different. You probably should Google what's the actual difference between EPL and laser. Both hair removal systems are supposed to be permanent. Obviously, um, they say it's supposed to be permanent, but there's no real way of getting rid of your hair permanent because due to hormones or a lot of factors, they could always regrow, so nothing's really permanent. But they, they're supposed to grow like very less thick, um, they are supposed to grow very less frequently and eventually fall out. The product I'm going to be reviewing is the Homesick Duo Quart System. I think it's very important for me to do a review on this product because I was not satisfied at all, and if I can help you guys save some money, especially considering these systems are not cheap, then I'm very glad to do it. I want to say that this is not the first at home um, permanent removal hair system that I've tried. I've also tried the Philips Lumea one, which I think is better than this one. This product here comes with a charger, a pair of glasses, the actual like the system to get your hair removed and an attachment head which you're supposed to use to do like your face kind of areas. This system is supposed to be different because it has different settings which depend on what you're looking for and your sensitivity. The lowest three settings you can actually do it more than once in the same place. You can do it up to three times because it is supposed to be used at a, at a fastest um, rate. Obviously it's harder to Get every single piece of uh, skin so you are allowed to do it up to three times in the same area so you grab the head and you slide it over the interested area and it emits constant flashes if you're using the highest two levels so the level four and five you're supposed to do one flash at a time and you're not supposed to flash um, the same zone twice so that's the main difference. If you do it in the lowest settings, obviously it does seem like it is faster, but in reality, because you're using it up to three times in the same area, it's not really that much faster. It is a little bit more convenient because you don't have to really look at where you're doing it. You can just slide it and without thinking too much. Whereas if you're doing it in the four and the fifth, um, I recommend you section out the area like with a white pencil. That way you can actually see which areas you have done and which areas you have not done. Because if you're doing like a huge area like, I don't know, your leg, it's a lot harder to remember where you've passed it and where you haven't passed it with the highest two settings. As in, if you're using the lowest three settings, it's not really that big of a deal because you can pass it in the same area up to three times. So that's how this system works. The first reason I did not like it is you can only use it for up to 30 minutes at a time, which is really little time. 30 minutes means that you have to do one leg at a time. You can do both legs at the same time unless you're really fast. Um, you can't do like your whole body in one sitting. So you have to like space them up and be like one day you're going to do one leg, the other day another leg, the other day you're going to do, I don't know, your arms, the other day you're going to do your armpits and maybe, I don't know, your mustache. It depends on how much time you take. For me, like the 30 minutes is not enough to do both of my legs, so that was very inconvenient, and it's not a lot of time, especially if you're slow. What I do is I section off my areas, that way I know where I have used it and where I have not used it, and it takes a nice amount of time, and 30 minutes is just not enough, there's no way to get around it, and that means that because you're doing it on so many different days, it gets kind of chaotic because you have to constantly look at your calendar to remember when you have to do the next sitting. It also depends on if you use the lowest three levels or you use the highest two levels. If you use the lowest three levels, you can do it up to twice a week, if I'm not mistaken. And if you use the highest levels, you can do it up to once every two weeks. So it gets really confusing because you have to write down what levels you used in what body parts. Otherwise, if you don't really remember, especially if you're doing it on different days. Another thing that made me a little bit biased before even trying the product is that the instructions are not clear. I found a couple of points which were not clear enough for me. Like for example, the 30 minute thing, it's not clear how much time you're supposed to wait after you have used it for 30 minutes. Um, I just, I couldn't understand if I was supposed to like wait a day, if I was supposed to wait a couple of hours for it to cool. It just, it doesn't say, it says you can use it up to 30 minutes in one sitting. Another thing is 
it comes with these glasses, but like the glasses are so stupid because they're completely black. And if you put them on, there's no way you're gonna see what area you're doing it. So how am you supposed to do that? Like on a blind, you know, you can't really see your mold or stuff like that. Also, I don't think it mentions in the instructions about anything about like covering your mold with a white pencil. Like I did that because I did it with my Philips Lumea one. My Philips um, in the instructions, it said that you can cover your areas and it recommended you to section them with a white um, pencil. We're talking about like a normal eyeliner pencil and it recommends for you to section it and cover that since um, the flash is supposed to like reflect the white and not actually hit the skin. And in this system, I really couldn't find anything regarding that. And another thing is that in the instructions, like when I was looking, when I was reading it the first time, I couldn't understand if you were supposed to charge it and then use it or if you were supposed to use it while it was plugged. I know it's stupid, but for me, the instructions were so unclear. And I also did not have a good experience with the customer service. I sent them a couple emails. Um, once I accidentally clashed my eyes, like I just, I didn't know if I had to worry, if I had to go to the doctor or anything. And I don't think they ever replied. So that kind of, I really did not appreciate that. Another reason why I wasn't crazy keen on this product is that I really didn't see any great results. Um, when I bought it, I was expecting to really love it. I really wanted to enjoy it and, you know, maybe be able to recommend it. But in reality, while it does work in some areas, in other areas, I have seen no results. Like on my armpits, I really did not see any real results. Um, on other areas, like my legs or areas where I'm not really that hairy, I have seen some results, um, even fairly decent results. But we're talking about areas that weren't really a problem for me. So I haven't really seen any big result in areas where maybe I'm a little bit more hairy. So that's like really a bummer because I've been using it for about 120 days and I was expecting to see more results at that time. I haven't been 100% constant while using it. Like I said, I've had the problem that because you, you're you supposed to do it more times or less time depending on the level you use it and because you're supposed to do it on different days, I've had days where I haven't really had time to do it or I've kind of messed up like my calendar. So I haven't been crazy constant, but for what it's worth, it says that you are supposed to do it up to twice per week on the lowest setting and up to once um, every two weeks on the highest two settings. So in reality, that's the minimum time that's supposed to pass. It's not the actual time that should um, go between these cycles. Thankfully, I bought it with a policy that I can return it if I don't like it and I'm going to be returning it. One of the reasons I'm going to be returning it is that with my Philips Lumea one, even though I was pretty happy with the results, it generally like stopped working and once it broke um like my hair started regrowing so i felt like the results were vanishing i'm not 100 percent certain if the results vanished completely or if a part of them did and the other part didn't but for me personally for the money and the time that you're investing in it because you really waste a lot of time to do it i don't think it's worth it especially considering you don't really even know if the results are going to stay there i'm afraid that if i don't return it in a couple of months like my my hair is gonna regrow and it's just gonna be a really big waste of money and time so, so for me personally i don't recommend it there's no real reason why i would recommend you buying it since, since the results are not that huge and I don't even know if they're going to stay there, especially considering that summer is coming and you're not supposed to sunbathe while you use it because you could like get burned and it could really damage your skin. So for me personally, it's a no. Like I'm really sorry that I'm ditching it and I'm really sorry for my brutal opinion, but that's like my honest review and I really hope it helps you guys save your money. Obviously, just because I didn't have excellent results it does not mean that you might not have excellent results maybe on me it didn't work but it might work on you keep that in mind for me personally if you want to buy a good um hair removal system i wouldn't recommend this one in particular the pieces themselves even did not feel that sturdy at least with my philips one it felt a lot more sturdy this one felt a little bit kind of like a toy i don't know how to explain it but the plastic was really like gentle it was really delicate when I tried to like put the attachment on it, it, it was really hard to put it, it was really hard to remove it. I was constantly worrying that it was going to break on me. So for me, it's a big no. Well, I really hope you, well, I really hope you liked my rural review. I know it was bad, but I feel like it's really important to 
give a bad review on something if you don't like it that way maybe some people will um, save their money if you did enjoy the video don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and don't forget to join the family that way you can see more videos from me and if you do decide to subscribe then don't forget to click the notification bell if you want to be notified when i publish new videos thank you so much for watching i hope this review was useful and have an amazing day bye